I'd love to have balance in in my life as and you know as an athlete, as an artist, as a lawyer. I love trying to find that that balance, which I think all Olympians do, uh, of of body, mind, and and spirit. And I also have text incorporated. So the uh, the lawyer uh, part of me, the one uh, the part of me that has you know respect for rules and the you know the the foundation of the Olympic movement we find in the in the Olympic Charter, which starts with the fundamental principles. So it talks about you know what is Olympism. The Olympic values influence my work in a number of ways. The first thing that comes to mind is persistence. For this particular project, I had to be very, very persistent in going out to various venues, um, shooting that venue in, in morning light, in evening light, sometimes with a subject, sometimes without, going back and trying to figure out exactly what do I want to achieve. And it's just about being persistent and trying different things over and over and over again until I get the result that I'm happy with. All of my base images are film photographs. Most of them are double exposures. And then from there, I will take a bunch of other film photo images that I've taken and um, sort of collage them onto the base image, um, as well as um, I've been using a lot of athletic figures on my pieces and trying to collage them within this whole scope of the scene. The fun element in my work comes from a sense of wanting to play for me. Being an Olympic athlete of, of any kind in any sport is a really difficult, serious thing. And it's hard to remember that we're doing it for fun. So I'm classed as a, uh, a cityscape artist. Uh, if you see a lot of my work, you'll see a lot of that, that theme through it. So to me, Beijing was really about trying to capture the actual city itself and try and find a way of uh, showing uh, as an artist the vibrance, the energy and the, and, the, and the movement in the actual city itself. So bringing the Olympics together is I kind of worked around uh, bringing more of a winter scene. So if you look at the artworks that I produced, They've got lots of snow, lots of, lots of, lots of ice within those particular pieces to try and capture that particular moment in time. Olympic的核心价值观是卓越、尊重、友谊。其实它是一个人生哲理，它很好的将呃人的身体、心理，甚至精神很均衡的融合在一起了。我也相信这个奥林匹克的这个理念，其实是也在影响着我们人类的发展
。首先呢，我认为全世界没有一个盛世能够像奥林匹克运动会一样。它不分宗教啊、信仰啊，然后，啊、呃，不同的肤色啊，也不分这个文化、政治背景，它是能够让在这样的一个大舞台上，啊、呃，让更多热爱和平的人团结在一起，啊、呃，也让人们能够共享这个人性的美丽的这样一个体育精神。J'essaie de mettre donc à la place du, du, du personnage que je vais traiter. Donc j'essaie de vivre le moment de ce qu'il qu vit vraiment. Et euh, comme ma peinture est à la limite entre l'abstrait et le figuratif, c'est-à-dire que je n'ai pas besoin de faire les doigts, ni, les nez, ni le nez, ni les yeux, ni quoi que ce soit. Donc lorsque euh, le bras, par exemple, il est dans un virage, eh bien, je vais accentuer le trait. Et donc ça va donner cet effet de, de, de mouvement, de vitesse. Alors je pense que la, la compétition, elle amène justement à ce, à ce dépassement de soi. Donc c'est quand même important, ça aide. Mais je pense que philosophiquement, j'ai toujours, toujours voulu en fait donner le meilleur de moi-même plutôt que de, de chercher la victoire sur les autres. C'est surtout sur moi-même que j'ai cherché la victoire. Et en peinture, effectivement, lorsqu'on se, euh, on, on, on peint ou on crée, on essaie toujours de, de donner le meilleur de soi.